Hey, Human Resources gang, we are down to the end of the road, week number 15, and there's only one more of these videos for a full week coming up next week, and then a video for a partial week, so uh, you don't have to see my face too much more. Uh, in fact, you probably, some of your classmates, quit watching these things a long time ago. That's okay, I don't mind so much. Uh, I do this primarily to, uh, to help you keep track of what's going on, but uh, if you don't need it, that's cool. This is week number 15, starting Sunday, April the 25th, and ending Saturday, May the 1st. Uh, May the 1st happens to be my older brother's birthday, so at the end of the week, y'all just give a shout out to Rick, and happy birthday. What are we gonna do this week? We're gonna finish up our discussion 13 on employee relations and rewards. Remember that uh, yesterday, if you're looking at this video on Sunday, it should be the last day that you post, and today, Sunday, you do all the reading. Uh, finish reading up discussion 13. Continue working with your team on your project, which is due uh, a little over a week from now uh, as we end up on the 1st, and then next week ends up on the 8th. So you got two full weeks and the Sunday of the 9th when that thing is due. Make sure you continue working on that. If you haven't already done so, consider doing that course evaluation. There should be a link as you first log on to to uh, Georgia View, a big announcement on the, on the main page before you even select classes that you can get a quick link to the Smart Evals website and you can go in and do all of your evaluations for all of the courses that you're taking right now. The window for the evaluations closes on May the 10th. That would be a Monday. Uh, just as a reminder, it is anonymous. I don't see any results whatsoever until something like the 20th of May. So it's after the course has ended, it's after grades have been submitted, uh, it's after graduation for those of you who are graduating. But please consider doing that. Uh, whether you say good things or bad things or middle things, we've talked in this class about feedback, how important that is, how communication is so important. And if you don't communicate with me, um, anonymously about what I can do better, I'm not gonna be able to get better. So please take the time to do that. Uh, next, the, for this week, upcoming things, week number 15 in the, the content folder, you'll see the links for the overview in the discussion board for policy and procedures and the articles. Read all that stuff and then make your initial post by Tuesday night. Again, at the uh, lead team, go in there and say, I'm on the lead Sunday, Monday, or Tuesday. Put at least one post on somebody else by Tuesday night. If you are in the uh, non-leadership team, make sure that your initial post, Sunday, Monday, or Tuesday, is a it, it target 180 words, 150 to 200 anyway, and make sure that all of your follow-up posts are at least 80 words to get the credits for those things. So the overview, the articles for policy and procedures, discussion 14 in your initial post. Uh, if you happen to be in team number four who led last week, make sure that you submit your team lead to Dropbox by Saturday night. If you happen to be in Team 5 leading the topic this week, be active in the discussion board. And that's it. We are getting so close to the end of the semester that uh, it doesn't take a whole lot of slides to, re to remind you what you need to finish up and what you need to be working on now. It's going to become less and less the longer we go. Hang in there with us. We're almost at the end. You've done really, really well. Everybody is in really, really good shape as far as marking this class off of your to-do list. Uh, I'm taking one more step towards graduation. I'll be back to see you again next Sunday with the next to last video and um, wishing you the best, that you're learning a lot, gaining a real appreciation for HR uh, with information that you'll be able to use in your career. Bye for now.